After the Senate votes to inject another $310 billion into the payroll protection program, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin telling Fox Business, though, that he hopes it will be enough. I hope it is enough. So there's another $310 billion in the PPP program. And on top of that, there's going to be another $300 billion of idle disaster loans. So that's in excess of $600 billion that we're pumping into small businesses. But is this really the case? Joining me now, senior fellow at the National Taxpayer Union, Matty Duppler. Uh, Matty, they, they're taking another bite at the apple. Uh, you know, the bites keep getting bigger. But you know, if the goal is to help small businesses, I just think they're, they're going to need a lot more money. Charles, you and I are in agreement on this. Half of this country is employed by a small business. So you think about the number of people who are affected by the fact that the economy has essentially been shut down. $600 billion doesn't even begin to touch it. This should have been a trillion dollar program to begin with. And I know, I know, I've been on this program for many, many years talking about spending, debt, taxes, how important it is for the federal government to get their fiscal house in order. But the reality of the situation is we've got two choices here. We either have the entire workforce that's employed by small businesses and large corporations laid off and trying to get unemployment benefits, which are, which are extremely expensive and are not getting administrated the right way in the states, or we try to keep these workers attached to their businesses so they can ride out this storm so that when the pandemic is under control, we can get the economy back online quickly and without too much disruption. And, and, you know, first of all, I'm glad that you're nimble, that uh, that that there are occasions when you can kind of, you know, say, listen, this time it's different because obviously we've never been through anything like this. You kind of alluded to this moral hazard, uh, the extra 600 bucks in unemployment. Uh, this is going to be an issue for small businesses as we come out of this trying to find workers. That's absolutely right. And I believe that we should have a strong and robust social safety net. But the one we have doesn't work so great. And we're seeing that right now when we had this unprecedented pressure on our unemployment system. The fact that the benefits are more generous doesn't mean anything for a worker who can't access those benefits because these state systems are either overrun with, with requests or in some cases, these systems are being run off of 60 year old technology and they don't even have the language to try and process these types of requests. Moreover, if a worker loses their job, they also lose their health care insurance. That's a huge problem when we're in the middle yeah. of an international pandemic. Yeah. So keeping those workers attached to their business is better for the worker and it's better for the economy in the long run. I got less than a minute, but I got to get your thoughts on Harvard. Uh, you know, listen, they're out today saying we didn't get any PPP money. We got CARES Act money. <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. I don't think they get it. You know, you got $40 billion in the bank. You don't really need taxpayer money. Uh, and it just points to maybe inefficiencies in this program, but they don't, they're, they're balking at giving the money back. Charles, I saw your comments on this on America's Newsroom. I understand where you're coming from on this, but I think what this really, the core of the problem here is a larger conversation we have to have in the United States. Why is it that Harvard has the same pot of money as the technical schools all across this nation when we know people and untraditional students are the ones who are served by those other different types of learning? We need to have support for a holistic approach to education, not just those at the top. And I think that's the real problem here. All right. I agree with you there. Maddie, it's great seeing you. We'll talk again real Good soon. Thanks you, a lot. Stay safe.